All right, so I want to talk a little bit about what we've prepared here. Um, we've dug out a little bit of a pit in this fire pit so that um, we got a concave area and then I filled it with charcoal. Um, you don't want your charcoal pieces to be too small uh, because they can kind of blow, blow away. Um, so you want some medium sized pieces, but you don't want them to be huge either. So kind of this size is fine. And then you can see we've got this um, hair dryer here. And um, this is pretty fancy uh, system for stoking up. It's really expensive. No. <laughs> uh, but we've got a little piece of, uh, of, of like fencing pipe and um, a, a, you know, just duct tape on here. And this just separates out uh, the hair dryer from, from the heat. So uh, you can see that this pipe is kind of melted on the end. That's because this pipe is in the really, really hottest part of the fire. And this hair dryer is just gonna stoke the coals. It's a really cheap way to come up with a stoke for your fire. I mean, there's other expensive ways to do it, but we're talking backyard, you know, making a knife in your backyard here. So um, great, just go to the, probably don't use your wife's hair dryer, probably go to the um, thrift store and get yourself one. Um, all right, so we're just gonna, I dug a little trench and uh, we're gonna stick this um, pipe in here and we've got the hair dryer set. We, when we turn the hair dryer on, we don't want, um, we don't want the uh, hair dryer to be on hot. Just turn it, just turn air only, okay? So just air only and um, great. Anyway, so the, once we get these coals going, uh, it's going to start to glow and it's going to start this the coal is going to start to spread the hot parts going to start to spread and the hair dryer is going to just stoke that up and if we didn't have a hair dryer these coals would not get up to the temperature that we need so we really need these coals to get up really really hot so that when we hold our knife over the fire um, we're getting like 1500 degree temperatures here at the top right um, cool so that's how we're going to um, heat treat the knife and that's really what heat treating is. It's heating it up just the right temperature to where we get that, um, the hardness that we want, right? So obviously when you're doing this in a campfire, it's not an exact science and you're not gonna be able to get your knife heat treated as well as if you put it in like a digital forge, you know? And you could say, I want it to be 470 degrees or I mean 1470 degrees or 1500 degrees exactly.